here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about dodging and burning. Um, dodging and burning is, there, there are a variety of ways to use dodging and burning. There's global, meaning like larger areas. Um, so you can do contouring, which I love, and I will definitely spend time on before we wrap up here, for sure. It's my like favorite takeaway tip that I all want you to make sure you know. Um, and then there's localized dodging and burning. Localized dodging and burning means if you zoom way in here, really, if you look at a lot of the unevenness in the skin, maybe through here, for example, it's not like if this were a high-end beauty image. It's not a color problem, really. But there's not a color shift. It's, it's not like it's too red, or, and so that's not it. And it's not really that it's a bad texture. It actually has to do with lightness and darkness. Like in that select area, for example, this is a little too bright, and then this is a little too dark. And if you even the two out, you make the light part a little darker and the dark part a little lighter, it gets rid of that problem area, but you still have your, your texture there. So a high-end retoucher will go in at pore level and even everything out. That is what high-end retouching is a majority of the time. Localized dodging and burning f for hours. Um, which I personally like hate and would want to shoot myself if I had to do it all the time. That's why I don't. But it, it, if you want to see those images where you see, you see that gorgeous texture of the skin, you see it. It's, you, know, you, you can feel it. You look at those pictures and it's, everything's perfect, but you just see this gorgeous texture. That's how they did it as they went in that close. Um, often retouching at 100% if it's going to be a beauty image. So let me show you what that is. Basically, it's a curves layer that's brighter and a curves layer that's darker and going in and working on everything. That's what it is. So I'll show you how to create that and then also you can obviously do an action. So I'm going to go into my half moon cookie down here, my adjustment layers with layer masks, and I am going to grab a f my first curves. So what we're going to do is we are going to lighten. This is going to be the curve to uh, dodge everything, to lighten things up. Um, how much you want to lighten it up at this point is really a matter of like how aggressively you want to lighten things. Um, you could also use a preset of lighter to do so if you want to like have a standard. It kind of just depends. So let me just call this dodge. Okay, and um, I want to hide this effect. So this isn't beginning, this is advanced, so I'm not going to explain adjustment layers and layer masks too in depth. If you don't know that, definitely check out another tutorial on that. But I'm going to hit Command I to hide that effect, so it filled in the mask. So I'm going to be able to paint lighter later. Okay, so let's do another curves. And this one I'm going to darken, or I could use the preset of darker. Okay, and I'm going to call this burn. And we're going to invert. So it's going to hide that mask. So what you would do is you would go around and you would say, OK, let's see this area right here, for example. That's not a texture problem, right? There's not, that's not really a bad texture. That's just a little bit too dark. So I want to lighten it up. So I'm going to grab my white brush. Um, low flow, I'm going to go like 1 to 2%. And just kind of click around a few times. So watch how subtle that was. But how it got rid of the problem, right? I got rid of that little darker area. And it, I recommend doing this at a variety of different zoom levels. So maybe don't start at 100% where I'm at now. Start further back and just see, okay, so where are some big problem areas that are, are darker? You know, maybe this just this whole area needs to be just a little bit lighter in there. So right now I'm dodging, lightening things up. So I'm looking for areas that are perhaps a little too dark. Um, like that's a little bit of a weird dark spot there. And you constantly want to vary the size of your brush to try to fit where the problem area is. So like see this, this almost like this pock right there. Really how you would get rid of say this pock area 
which I'm saying this lightly, she has beautiful skin, okay? Um, this is, we're doing a beauty retouch here, um, is this little darker area. I would go in and just lighten it up a little bit. So watch, just a little bit lighter. And that is what they do for high-end beauty retouching. And so it's just going in, and see it's a little darker here. And then, conversely, any place where it was a little bit lighter, burning, you wanna darken it down. So let's see, there's, it's a little bit too bright here. And this would be a step that, depending on what the end image is, you could spend hours and hours and hours, and guess what? That's what I pay retouchers to do, like when I, when I have an image that's going to take that much time. Um, I think it's important to know how it's done, and I think it's important to be able to do these things yourself, but um, knowing when it's going to be taking that much time and when to outsource or when you want the control. Um, so it is just that back and forth, so it's, let's see if I can uh, show you down here. So like, see that down there? It's filling in some of those areas, or let's look at some of the, on our cheek here, some of those dark areas. And right now, it's at a really low flow. If you wanted to speed up the process a little bit, you either make your curves a little bit steeper, or you increase your flow, the amount that you're doing it in. So I'm gonna just do this for like another minute or two, but this is where I would spend much more time. Okay, so let's increase my, so let's see here. Like if I wanted to get rid of this, uh, this, this fine line here, that would be lightening it up a little bit. And coming around here, lightening up just in that line. And watch, see how it softens it? That, that's really what it is. Okay, and over here, let's lighten up some of these dark areas. And this is where I wanted to go ahead. I'm gonna come back and um, revisit the woman with de the defined lines. Let's see. So see how those get filled in by lightening it up? Same thing, darken down any areas that are too bright. Okay, so lots and lots and lots of that. And probably on the screen it's a little hard to see, but I just did a little work on the chin so you see the direction that it goes. Um, for the woman with the more defined lines, let's just take a look at that. I have uh, retouching actions um, created. So I go to actions and I have um, contouring, contouring or burning and dodging. We're gonna talk about contouring in a minute. Um, so basically I have my highlights and shadows or my burning and dodging. So if I want things to be brighter, like filling in some of these wrinkle areas, what I could do is I could take my low flow, maybe two, three percent and come in and you just trace over some of these wrinkle areas uh, let's make sure I'm on a white brush, okay. And you just trace over them to soften them a little bit. Let me think, I think I'm selected on something. And I'm gonna create actually my own so that it's a little bit faster. So let me just lighten this up and call this Dodge. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so watch the, the wrinkle. Okay, now I'm going more severe, but it's, so it's quick for you to see. And of course, if you go too far, you can always back it off. But this would be the way to soften those wrinkles and just cut their edge out without getting rid of them. And so when you see there's different levels depending on publication, some publications will get rid of the wrinkles, they dodge and burn everything, uh, frequency separation like super, super smooth, and others will just more subtly back off some of these shadows. So let me fill in just a couple more so you can see, and then I will move on to the next, and one of my favorite steps, because I don't want us to miss it. Uh, let's do this, and then same thing for underneath her eyes. And so it's cutting the difference, and I would get in, right now I'm at 70%, I would get in to 100% for here underneath her eye, fill it in. So like, let's take a look up here. So it can kind of soften everything. 